hello guys welcome back here in this video i want to show you how to deploy tempo and configure that into the grafana data, data source so tempo is basically distributed tracing so if we want to trace where our requests are going so we can use tempo to the analysis so here uh, I already have the Docker desktop running and currently I am using this Windows power cell. So here if we check namespaces. So currently these are the ports running in the Kubernetes cluster of Docker desktop. So what I will do before deploying tempo, I'll go to the Grafana repo and this is Grafana Helmser repo. Here we have all these shards available for Loki, for Grafana, for tempo, tempo, distributed tempo. So distributed Loki all are available here. So if we go to tempo, you will see all configuration registered informations are available here and now what i will do i will add this repo to my helm repository so how to do that just copy this and paste it here and enter will add the repo to my helm so now what i will do helm repo update so I will update the repo now. So this is updating the repo. Yeah, this is done. Then next, go to the same repo and we will get the installing the cert. So how to install the cert? Here is this command. So before installing, I will create a namespace. kubectl create namespace demo. Suppose. Okay. So demo namespace is created. Now what I will do, I will install this tempo. So what I will give the release name is text tempo and I can end demo. So now you can see the graph on the, the tempo is deployed. And what uh, uh, so if you want to say if you don't get forward. I can end demo so this will give the tempo running pod you see the tempo pod running so two pods are running currently okay now what I will do check the service also if it will service I can end demo okay this is the tempo service now, let's go to deploy grafana so this is grafana we have to change the release name and the name of the chart so if it will install grafana then grafana i can add demo Okay, so Grafana is deployed. You can see this is the command. If we run this command, it will go and get the secret from the Grafana secret. So here the base 64 encoding will not happen because this one is power cell. So what I will do, I will do, I will get secret. demo so this is the grafana demo uh, grafana secret in the demo namespace so let's get the secret secret sorry grafana I can find so this will pop up a not, uh, 
notepad and here the while the configuration for the grafana secret will be there here you can see the admin password and the admin user so what i will do i will get this and go to the browser here type s64 encoder and decoder We'll go to the base 64 decoder and go here you can see the code from base 64 format so if we put this here we can decode it so this is the admin password okay open another one base 64 get the admin user name so if we use this and the code you see admin is the username so what i will do now i will put forward so up now cancel it okay. now i will get the service can see the Grafana service this one is a tempo service Grafana is running on 80 port 80 and tempo is running on these ports are open okay so let's clear the screen and do a port forward let's see here the service I can find the Grafana service. So what we can do, we can go to the browser and open local host 3000. You can see the Grafana login page is loaded here. You can see admin as a username and the password. What was the password? This is the password. Get this password and login. So we can able to log in successfully. Let's go to the data source. So there is no data source currently. We have to add the data source for tempo. Go to the data source and then add tempo. tempo. So what is the URL will be the tempo and the Port number so port number is 3100 so keep that 3100 and test it now go to the plus and save and test you see data source is working that means tempo data source is working now and you can see i think some trace data so this is Graphon 9.4.7 version. So we have the trash QL earlier to this. There was no trash QL. We have to give the trash ID and then only we can see the traces. Now go to search. Run the query. We'll get some traces. See, these traces are available. So if we click one trace ID, you can able to see the traces okay that's it from this video this is how you can configure tempo with grafana okay. thank you do subscribe like and share this video with your friends so that we can share our knowledge with each other thank you thanks a lot